have to hand it to this company, Xdobo does not make boring speakers. This is the Xdobo Memory 1972. Normally, I'm not an RGB guy, but... <laughs> the first thing that you notice is, of course, the RGB lighting system. And it's got these... I don't know what you want to call these patterns. It's it's kind of a cyberpunk motif, and I have no problem with that whatsoever. I love that genre. They don't give you any specs on these speakers, but I think the bottom one is approximately a three inch woofer, and the top is about a one inch tweeter. And then on the back, we have a passive radiator. All of the controls are on the top and they're fairly standard. This is your equalizer button. You choose between full frequency, vocal boost, or bass boost. This is the RGB lighting selector. There are five modes to choose from or off. And we have a power button here. This is the true wireless stereo button. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. This is your mode switch. This selects your input source. We have the battery life indicator play pause, and then your volume and track controls here. All of the ports are pretty standard. We have the U-Drive port here. You can also use this to charge secondary devices. We have a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, USB-C charging port, and the TF card slot here. The back of the speaker also has that cyberpunk texture, but it's less noticeable because there are no RGB lighting effects back here. There is, however, a shiny plastic shell, and at first I was concerned about fingerprints, but it doesn't, it doesn't leave any, so no problem there. The bottom of the speaker has these rubber feet, which does help with sound isolation, and the entire speaker is wrapped in this faux leather finish, which I really like. We also have a faux leather handle, and I'm kind of on the fence about this. Sure, if you're planning to carry the speaker around, having a handle is nice, but I see this more as a desktop speaker, in which case the handle doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The memory 1972 does have 80 watts of power, but once you get above three quarter volume, you will hear some distortion at both the upper and lower frequency ranges. This passive radiator is not just a gimmick. If you put this against the wall, you will double your bass experience. This speaker will handle any kind of music, but like I said, keep it under three quarter volume, which brings me to my second point. I do like this speaker, but it doesn't give me the room filling volume that I want. So that's why I suggest using this as a desktop speaker. And if you do, I also suggest getting two of these and pairing them with true wireless stereo mode. So you'll get not only double the power, but also that true left and right channel experience. Xdobo makes fun, affordable speakers, and the Memory 1972 is no exception. I will give this a four out of five star rating. Buy two of these and use them as desktop speakers in true wireless stereo mode. I think you'll have a five out of five experience. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.